That was the time that Shanghai Giga Factory was still building and nearly accomplished, and Model 3 Made in China was going to publish and open for reservation. I would say it is kind of historic time. A lot of people ask me, why is your experiment at Tesla so important for you? Well, I just worked for Tesla for six months as a digital marketing intern at Tesla China. That was the time that Shanghai Giga Factory was still building and nearly accomplished, and Model 3 made in China was going to publish and open for reservation. I was so proud to be one of them to make the history happen. But that is one thing. For me, the first reason was about my own situation, my own contacts at that time. Because I always feel like in 2018, when I first came to the United States, I was not fully prepared mentally and physically. I was not in the mood of job search. I was not ready to meet so many people from different backgrounds, from different countries. Also, professionally, I started to question myself whether I want to be a product manager or I want to explore some other positions in the business world. So I think it would be great for me to take a gap after my one year at Duke. It was a marketing role at Tesla and I thought, why not give a shot? They did a really good job to teach me to become a professional. And probably during everyone's professional life, there should be someone out there to teach you what to do and to make you the transition from a student to a professional. Uh, one of my responsibilities was to send out emails, uh, marketing campaign emails to all the leads and probably Tesla owners in China. That was a really detail-oriented work because you cannot make any mistakes and every time when I check my email, I check them more than 50 times. For real. But when I first got this job, when I first did this, I was totally not detail-oriented. I was not that kind of person and when my mentor taught me, she was like, you know what, I was once like you. I was pretty, you know, outgoing. I was pretty okay with everyone's personality. I could work with everyone. And people feel so comfortable to work with me because I'm not very serious about the details when we talk, when we communicate. But you know, there is a downside for that kind of personality, which is probably you will not be that detail-oriented in your work. If you cannot be detail-oriented, you cannot pursue success in your professional life. They never tell me something like, you cannot achieve this or you cannot do this. They never define me as a person, but they will tell me how to do and give me practical advice. And I think that is so important. And every meal, every lunch, like marketing team, PR team, social media, uh, designers, and you know, all those people, we just have lunch together. And every time they just involve me in the conversation. So for example, when they talk about their keys, when they talk about their professional life, they will ask me like, what is your career goal? And what do you want to achieve in your life? And what is your plan in the maybe next three years? They just ask me these questions in a very casual way and involve me in their conversation, in their adult conversations because there were not that much hierarchy. My manager was like 30 years something people and his manager was like 40 years something general manager of Tesla China or like VP of Tesla. And what does VP of Tesla mean? It means like the manager of VP of Tesla uh, is Elon Musk. So but when you constantly report to those people, you kind of think like, you know, are you going to be someone like them after 10 years and after 20 years? They are really someone that you admire. They are really someone that you want to become after 10 years and 20 years. And you start to think like, I am working hard enough nowadays in my 20s to become someone like them or become someone better than them. And you start to think what I really want to do in my life. And at that time, what I did was to reflect the 20 years that I had in my life and think about the happiest time. And eventually the result that I got was the time that I found my own startup in my undergrad. So that made me really feel like, okay, now I need to have my target in my career path. And that was to become an entrepreneur in the future. And now I should see like what other experience I need to become a more matured, more seasoned entrepreneur. And then I will see like, okay, what, what is the company? What, what, the, what is the position? Or what is the career path I want to pursue next? It just made me feel more mature mentally. So I think that is the first point my situation at that time and how they helped me to become a more mature person. The second reason why this experience is so important for me is because the network that I had. For digital marketing team, there were only three people including me. When we develop partnership outside Tesla, people that we communicate, that we collaborate with are kind of like a marketing director, head of marketing, a VP of marketing, titles like that. So when you collaborate with people from the, those senior levels, you kind of think like them. 
And for some of them, I also have developed a very long-term relationship with them to make us a more personal connection. And the last thing I want to talk about, the responsibilities there. I feel so grateful and so accomplished when I hear my marketing campaign from major media after I launched the marketing campaign. It just made me feel so great and so missionary. And when I worked there, I felt like my value system made the Tesla mission. I need to develop partnerships myself. I need to communicate and collaborate with a lot of different departments inside Tesla and outside Tesla to really know what they want and how they can help me and how I can help them to uh, make their life easier. And I think these are the three very important reasons why this experience was so vital for me.